everybody, it's Christina. Welcome to my Watch Me Shrink video update. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give me every week and I think that um, I'm able to achieve such fast results thanks to all of your positive reinforcement. And I just want to wish all of you, if you're trying to lose weight or whatever goals you're setting for yourself, I wish you all the best and I, I know that you can do it. Little baby steps, you can do anything. So um, I want to get to my uh, weigh-in this morning. Um, I am so happy to report that I did lose um, a good amount of weight. I set a goal for myself and I finally reached 130. So I'm so happy, like you guys don't even understand. Um, because this is the weight that I was when I found out I was pregnant. And um, it was more than what I'm usually, more than what I usually weigh, but it, you know, just reaching this is like a milestone for me. Um, even though I still have a good deal of weight to lose, um, I just feel so happy. Um, and I do have to say that it was like a roller coaster getting to this weight because I feel like, I don't know, like some people tell me they're extremely dieting and extremely working out and I don't want to say it was easy, maybe because my week was so hectic and so busy and I was so focused on so many different things that um, I didn't have time to, you know, focus too much of my energy on like my weight and working out and so forth. I did do work out and eat well, but I don't know, it just seemed a little bit effortless. Um, but let me show you the number. Um, last week I weighed in at 140.6 and this morning I weighed in at 137.6 and I'm so happy because let me tell you guys, last night we had dinner um, and some friends over so you know whenever I have like company over the night before my weigh in I get a little nervous but then again I was a little bit more cautious on how much potatoes I was shoving into my mouth. So this also shows me that I am losing weight because Hey, I had dinner last night and it didn't tip me over the scale. So, and I was, um, during the week I kind of weighed myself back and forth just to make sure that I'm losing weight and just kind of reinforce my progress. Um, and I was bouncing around between 17, uh, 137 and 138. So coming in at 137.6 is just like fabulous for me. So yeah, I lost three pounds, yay for me. I hope you guys, if you're losing weight and you, know, you find my videos inspirational, let me know how your progress is because I think if we encourage one another, that's how we make success happen. I think, um, you know, people don't realize you have to talk about it. You have to talk about your setbacks. You have to talk about your, you know, your, uh, when you overcome something. So, and if you guys remember in the beginning of this um, journey, I was having a really big problem with sweets. And I feel like I'm not even having that problem right now. Maybe, like I said, I was so busy this week, the last couple weeks, with all the business stuff that's going on that... And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I forget to eat, so, um, but I don't feel hungry. You know how, like, um, when you're starving yourself, or if you ever starved yourself, you feel, like, really, really hungry and you're in pain? Like, I don't feel that. So maybe I'm not really starving because sometimes I just forget to eat. And, yeah, like, I don't, I don't think I'm starving. So, anyways, um, my diet has been, you know, really good. I, I was drinking my smoothie. I don't know if you guys saw my video, but you should check it out. It's a really simple smoothie, so nutritious with kale. Um, I'll attach it um, to this video, and you guys can check it out. Just changing one little thing is like the, the biggest thing. If, like you're having a healthy breakfast, that's that's a huge plus. So I was drinking my smoothie. I used to drink smoothies all the time, um, but this time I added kale to it, and it's so good, it's so nutritious. I just felt so strong and um, it really pulled me over to lunch so try the smoothie um, yeah I've been doing a lot of portion control this week with my food trying not to overeat and if I do eat I try to eat more um, grains and more uh, just more vegetables um, and fruits I love fruit um, you guys like if, if that one thing that you I could leave with you. It's just eat fruit. Even if you're if you're having a hard time eating vegetables, eat fruit. Fruit is like I don't know. I think if I didn't have fruit, I probably won't be able to lose weight because I eat so much fruit on a daily basis. I think I eat more fruit. I know I eat more fruit than vegetables, and I definitely losing weight and toning up and um, exercising. I don't feel sick or anything. So yeah. Um, as far as exercise, like I said, I'm not going to the gym anymore, so what I'm doing is I'm cleaning the house, like sweeping, that's like a hardcore intense exercise where you're using your upper body, and I kind of, as I'm, as I'm sweeping, like we, I was cleaning the backyard, and I was sweeping, and um, I tightened my ab muscles just to tone them, and um, it, 
I don't know, I just I feel like I'm working the core as I'm sweeping the floor. So in a sense, like I'm, you know, multitasking because when I used to go to the gym, I'm, you know, it's like you have to set aside time to go to the gym, but you're not cleaning the house, so you know you have to set time to clean the house also. So now I'm getting my exercise and cleaning done at the same time, and I think that's where my workouts are coming from. Um, I've been toning a little bit, um, same old, you know, twisting my um, my midsection on that circle thing and um, just toning my arms. Um, I've been um, doing this um, sitting exercise um, where I'm just sit against the wall. I used to do this all the time for figure skating when I used to train for my sit spin and um, when I used to ski all the time to build up my muscle and strengthen my upper legs. So that is a really good exercise if you guys, you know, want to tone up your legs. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, I haven't gone swimming yet. I've been trying to get myself into the pool and I have not found time. So that's maybe something I could do this week. I'll let you know. Oh, and do you remember the Billy Blinds DVDs that I bought in the beginning of this journey? Yeah, still haven't tried that. So let me maybe set a goal and try to do that <clears throat> for uh, next week and maybe I'll do it. Um, I've been using a lot of, um, getting a lot of inspiration from my magazines. I got my Women's Health with um, Heidi Pinatier, however you say her name. And in this magazine, uh, there's an article about Michelle Obama. And I really like this article, very inspirational. And if you guys have a hard time starting a fitness regimen or even just want to slowly build up losing, uh, you know, or cutting out, you know, junk food out of your um, diet, I really love her article here. It says, you know, if you like ice cream, for example, you just slowly eliminate little by little. Like, I totally agree with that. Like, I don't, my diet, I had cheesecake last night. I didn't have tons of cheesecake. I had a little bit. And, you know, I'm, I don't eliminate certain things. I still enjoy my food. And the other day we went out to a restaurant. And I think, you know, if you deprive certain foods, I definitely think that you should not eat fried food or, you know, overly processed food. But I think you should enjoy a quality gourmet cooked meal. And because there's so many amazing flavors. So we went to a Russian restaurant, um, which was absolutely delicious. And I had caviar uh, with a Russian borscht and it was so nice and it was, a, it was a date that my husband surprised me with and it was a much needed date and I didn't feel guilty like I, I because I know I'm doing you know 70-80% of the time really well so I think if you have associate guilt with eating something decadent you know you're it's like you're bound to mess up it's you're already punishing yourself before you even you know fell down that's not fair so um yeah we went to a restaurant then we had a barbecue um at one of our friends house and um they're french and i just learned so much about like cheeses and stuff oh yeah and i love cheese you guys i love 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 cheese like me and my daughter have like become addicted to cheese i love eating a little bit of cheese and it's so rich and i think i've had it like partially dinner uh, maybe three four times this past week a night so uh, with cheese and a little bit of wine oh I'm like in heaven so yeah um, and I lost three pounds you know anything you can still enjoy your food you don't have to overdo it or stuff your face until you're blue so yeah um Michelle Obama article if you guys haven't checked out Women's Health I really suggest it. This is how I draw inspiration. I also have uh, been reading Shape, Jelly Michael. I love her. I love her tough personality. She's so strong and I love that about women. I think women can do anything they want if they put their mind to it and do little, little, little every day. You could definitely do it. So back to my agenda, my planner. So my birthday is coming up in a week and I, I really want to go shopping. So um, to get a cute dress for my um, for my birthday party. My birthday party is going to be in two weeks, so I do have some time. So maybe this weekend I'll go shopping and maybe I'll um, pick some stuff out. I'm definitely going to show you guys. So you, maybe you can help me pick that outfit or cocktail dress. I love cocktail dresses. I feel so girly and feminine, feminine in them. But my goal for my birthday, or maybe for my party, which is going to be the 7th, um, is to be 135, uh, which I think is doable. That's what? 2.6 pounds I could definitely do that maybe more and tone up definitely tone up a lot 
and so I that's gonna be my goal maybe for next week and if I don't reach that I have a safety net of another week but my birthday is next Monday so I'm gonna do a watch me shrink weigh in on my birthday so hopefully I have some happy so a good present for, for my birthday is uh, I weigh in on Monday so I gotta work extra hard this weekend but then again like I said I don't I don't feel like I'm working hard I feel like I'm working really hard as far as setting up a business and stuff um, but my dad is I, is just becoming a routine, I think. That's what happens when, you, you know, practice makes perfect. And so if you guys are trying to lose weight or if you're trying to budget or if you try, I think you're, you know, you could do anything. So I really support you guys and I really want you to share your stories with me. I know a lot of you um, had babies recently and I really want to know how you guys are doing with your weight loss and I really encourage you and support you. I want to give you all of my love as you guys give me every week and um, you know, feel free to ask me questions. I really love sharing, you know, um, just advice and just give people support. I think it's very important to support people. So thank you all so much for watching and um, I will catch you next week on my birthday. All right, take care. Bye. I love yogurt. That's not a healthy yogurt.